Hello, this is Mr. Nama Green, and I'm going to walk you through what we'll be working on today. We're starting Unit 1, Lesson 3 of Microsoft Touch Develop. Alright, so this is an outline for what we'll be working on in Lesson 3. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is customize your Touch Develop profile because you all haven't had a chance to do that yet. Then we're going to talk about uh, some of your favorite computer games. We're going to do an activity where we categorize different computer games. We'll talk a bit about genre, and then we'll talk about what makes a game fun. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is customize your profile a bit more on Touch Develop, uh, just to give it a bit more of your personality. Uh, so the first thing I want you to do is open up Edmodo and log in, if you haven't already. And then I want you to download your avatar. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. Okay. So we've opened up Edmodo. And if we go up to your account and go to profile, you see this is your avatar right here. So you can just control click on the Mac, go to save image as. And saving it on the desktop will be fine. You can rename it if you'd like. All right, save that. Now, Touch Develop requires that your profile picture be at least 150 by 150 pixels. Um, and our profile pictures on uh, Edmodo aren't quite that big, so we're going to resize it. Okay. So just go ahead and open this up. It should open with preview by default. There we go. And then if you go up to tools and go to adjust size and see it's almost the right size but not quite big enough. So we're going to change that 140 to 150. Make sure this says pixels and not inches. Then click OK and then either command S or file save. Okay. All right. So now I want you to go to touch develop. Log in if you haven't already. Okay, I'm logged in, so I'm going to open up that window. All right. So if you go up here and click on your profile picture, your name should be up here. I want you to go to more settings, scroll down just a bit and go to picture. Then you can browse and upload the picture that, um, that we just edited. I won't upload load mine because I've already done that, but you would select open. I'm going to click cancel because I've already done it. Okay. So that's how you can upload your avatar from Edmodo. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the next thing that I want you to do while you're still on this page is go ahead and uh, take just a few minutes and update some of your profile. Uh, leave your nickname as is because <clears throat> we've already changed that. <clears throat> um, and if you have a website that you'd like to include, you're welcome to. Uh, Twitter handle uh, location is optional. You can put Jenkins if you'd like. Uh, something short about yourself would be fine. Uh, skip the real name part. Uh, and scroll down to, to occupation. I'll leave this up to you. You're welcome to put either student or software developer, whatever you'd like to put. And then for school, Jenkins Middle High School. Okay. And then when you're finished with that, just click save. All right. So I'm going to give you a moment to pause the video and do that right now. And then when you're finished, come back and we'll get started with the next task. All right. So the next thing that I want you to do today, um, you're going to get the chance to talk with a friend a bit. Um, I want you all to talk about um, some of your favorite computer games as children. So what were your favorite computer games when you were little? What did you like to do? Um, and if you weren't big into computer games or video games, um, then you can talk about 
that and talk about some of the other kinds of um, things that you like to do. Uh, so I want you to compare this. If you did like video games or computer games, um, think about what your favorite games are now. Uh, and has that changed? It probably has. Um, I want you to think a bit about how your idea of fun has changed. So what is it that used to entertain you that maybe does not entertain you now? Uh, what is it that entertains you now? Uh, so talk with a friend about that for a bit and feel free to jot down a couple of notes because it'll help you with some of the later activities that we're going to do today. So go ahead and pause the video and work on that and you can come back and resume when you're finished. Okay, so the next thing I want you to work on, um, you're going to spend some time categorizing video games and computer games today. So take out a sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil. Um, I want each person to do this. So individually, uh, go ahead and write down four games that you enjoy. Leave a little bit of space after each game so that you'll have room to do this next task. So I want you to write down three characteristics that you associate with each of these four games. Okay? Um, so these can be um, characteristics that you consider uh, to be particularly fun, uh, or they can be characteristics such as uh, you get three lives, or um, the game ends when you hit a brick wall. Uh, so whatever characteristics you'd like to add, anything that you associate with those uh, games. Okay, so the next part, um, I want you to work with a partner, just somebody sitting near you, uh, and you're going to categorize all of the games that you both just listed. Uh, you can make up your own names for these categories. You can use whatever criteria you would like. Uh, for example, uh, perhaps you both um, picked a game that, uh, that has, where the character has lives. Uh, so with that, um, perhaps that could be a way that you uh, that you group the games together. Um, or maybe um, maybe you want to group games because they're action-adventure, because they're puzzle games, or uh, or whatever. Uh, so whatever categories you choose, just make sure that you and your partner agree on those. And you're going to rank the eight games that the two of you came up with. Okay? Alright, so after you've done um, Step three, um, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're finished. Uh, but after you've uh, done the, um, the third thing, uh, I want to, you to think a bit about uh, genres. So if you've heard this word before, um, the definition is on the screen. It's, you've probably heard it in the context of uh, music, music genres, uh, but we also use the word genre to talk about games, computer games and video games. So, genre is going to be any category uh, that's going to group games uh, based on their similarities. Um, so, whether or not you realize it, you just defined genres for different types of computer games and you created the categories. Um, so, I want you to now uh, think about some of the types of genres that the games that you listed fall into. So now what I want you to do is I want you to look at some of the uh, established genres uh, for games, uh, some of the ones that we commonly think about when we think about different types of computer games. Uh, so to help you do this, you can check out Wikipedia's article on uh, computer game genres. And you can also check out uh, The History of Computing has a good website uh, about this as well. So I'm going to show you what those two look like. Okay, so this is the Wikipedia site, and we've got a list of video game genres. It's got some good background here if you'd like to read a bit more. And then, as you can see, we've got uh, some broad categories, action shooter, action adventure, adventure, role playing, simulation, strategy, and it goes on. And then within that, we've got some subgenres. Uh, so if you'd like, uh, start general and then work your way to the specifics. Okay, and this is um, this is the history of um, of computing's website, uh, and this has uh, uh, some other genres, a lot of the the same uh, kinds of things that you'll find in Wikipedia. But this is just another resource that you can check out. 
Uh, this site in particular has a lot of examples of different games that fall under genres. Uh, so if you listed any of these, um, uh, then that might help you uh, categorize them. Okay. Alright, so after you're finished with this, I want you to post um, your answers to the Edmodo site. Um, you can uh, uh, do this individually. Okay. So go ahead and pause the video and work on this and uh, come back when you're finished. Alright, so the fifth thing that I want you to do, I want you to spend some time thinking about what makes a computer game fun. So open up Microsoft Word and I want you to make a list of characteristics that make a game fun. Okay. Um, after you do that, I want you to write a brief journal entry answering the following questions. Okay, uh, this journal entry doesn't have to be long. A couple of paragraphs is, um, is enough. Okay, so I want you to think about how the definition of fun is going to vary from individual to individual. And I want you to think about what makes a computer program, um, computer game fun for you. Um, now, consider that other people in the class um, have probably listed different games than you as their favorites. Um, and part of this is because they have different definitions of, of fun. Uh, so I want you to think about why um, this definition varies from person to person. So the reason I want you to think about these things is because you will um, later on in the semester be making your own computer game and you'll want it to be fun for yourself and for um, others like you. So um, if you do some of this work now, think about what makes a video game or computer game fun. Uh, then later on it'll be much easier for you to make a fun game. All right, so uh, go ahead and get started on this. And as always, if you have any questions, I'll be right here.